Hey there traders, hope you guys are doing well. Just on a beautiful walk at the moment here. I live in New Zealand. We've got the countryside here on the right. There's an actual river here on the left. You guys can see that. So I'm just walking my dogs here, just relaxing. So I just want to show you guys a, a premium trading journal that I use. And you guys can get it for free. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and use it. Because my trading started to change big time and the consistency came in once I started to, to journal my trades and look back at what I was doing right and what I was actually doing wrong. And that made a huge difference in my trading. I just want to show you guys how you can get it for free and actually start using it. And this will allow you to take your trading to the next level and allow you to level up. It's a complete game changer guys. So I'm going to provide you with that and I'll catch you on the inside. Pay attention to the full video guys. It's going to help you drastically. Alright guys, so with your trading journal, obviously the first thing you need is an actual trading strategy. So I'm just going to show you a trading strategy that I used to use. I still use parts of it. But I trade a little bit differently now but here it is basically it's utilizing a whole moving average you can see this moving average here that changes color because with our trading journal what we are trying to do we are trying to track our trade our technical trading strategy and we're trying to figure out what we are doing right and what we are doing wrong with it okay so as an example I'm just going to show you this strategy over here you can see on the right here I've got some round numbers marked off so 63,000, 62,000, 61,000 so basically with the strategy what you want to do is you want to wait for price to come down to a round number or up to a round number as you can see price bounces off these round numbers you can see it bounced off 63,000 at the bottom here it bounced off 60,000 so typically with a strategy you want to see it bounce off a round number and you want to see the whole moving average cha uh, change color. As you can see right now it's red. So this would indicate a sell. But let's just say we took this trade down here and we the whole moving average change color. We put our stop below the low here and we're targeting the next round number which was 61,000. Okay so this trade would have been a win. So here we can see the risk reward ratio is 2.29 and so on. Now how would we journal this trade? Well first of all what I like to do is I just like to, what I'll do is I'll put a little text over here saying this was a win. All right just like that and then what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of this. So what I'll do is I'll click on download image. Okay so now the next thing is, so once you've done that and you've either won the trade or lost the trade, now what you want to do is you want to go to your actual trading trading journal and track the trade and actually journal the trade. So we'll come into our trading journal. So this is Notion. So there will be a link to Notion where you can actually download it for free. There's an app version and there's a web-based version. I use the web-based version because it's I just feel it's a lot easier to use having it right here on the top all the time so you can quickly journal your trades. There will also be a link to my very own personal trading template which you can apply to Notion. So you don't have to create all of this. Okay, You can just copy and paste it into your Notion which will be a free account. I'm on the free plan as well. So all you'll need to do is copy. Well you'll need to copy and paste and duplicate it into your own Notion on the side here. I'll show you guys how to do that later but let's let's journal the trade that I just took. Alright so you can see here I've got in this trading journal I've got the pair that I trade, I've got the date and time of the trade, I've got the session, I've got the time frame, buy or sell, the reason and the strategy that I used, I've got my emotions and my comments on the trade, I've got the setup grade, is it a setup grade A or B, was it to plan, so was it a yes or no in terms of did I go according to my trading plan. I'll show you what the trading plan is. The trading plan is here. I'll click on that just now to show you what that is. Was it a win, loss or break even? How much risk was used? Now with these here, this is this will give you your average risk used. So you can just see this is just an example of a couple of trades that, that I'm just showing you as an example based on that strategy. You can see I've journaled four here and you can see my average risk that I've used here is 1.25. 
So this automatically cal calculates it for you at the bottom of the column. The risk to reward ratio of the actual trade itself. So if I quickly show you this. So you can see here the risk to reward ratio is 2.29 over there. So this is giving you your average risk to reward ratio. So you, you need to put in exactly what it was. If it was a loss, so minus one on the risk to reward, or if it was a positive, and it'll calculate it here, it'll give you your average risk to reward ratio. The, the PL percentage, meaning how much you've gained or lost on the account. So you can see on this trade here, it was a 2.61% gain. On this one here, it was a loss. It was minus 1.5%. This was a gain of 2.92, so this gives you a sum of how much your P&L is in terms of a percentage, so the percentage gain in total that you made in your account. Here are the pips as well, so it's um, according to how many pips I've lost or made on the trade, and this will sum up all the pips. And this is an image of the actual, so this is the, the, the uh, screenshot that you took that I showed you earlier how to take that screenshot, so what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots, and you can go to full screen and you can look at the actual trade itself that you took. Now that one, if you click on it here, you'll see it's a little bit blurry. So if you want to see the original image, you just click on the three dots and go to view original. Okay, so now you can see the trade in high quality, just like that. Okay, so all of these little columns here will give you We'll give you different options so they're all this is all set set up already for you so you don't have to mess around because this might take you a couple of days to actually make this so when you download my very own template it's all done for you so you don't have to go through the hard work of making all this stuff yourself so let's journal that trade that i just currently took so we can see if we go back to trading view we can see this was a new zealand dollar us dollar pair we can come into here and write NZD USD. Right, that's the first thing done. Now we over here we've actually got a, a date and time that we can put in here. So if we go back to the trade itself, wait, trade started. If we just move this over because it would have been taken there. We can see the trade was. If we look down at the bottom here, it was on the first of June. 2023 at nine o'clock so we can just put that here in our notion so we can see it was the first of june and it was at nine o'clock all right then the end of the trade was if we go back there we can just quickly look here okay so we can see the end of the trade was on the second of june at one o'clock so we can come in back into our notion you can click on here, it was the 2nd of June at, at 1 o'clock. Okay, so then we we can see over there we've journaled the actual time. Okay, so the next thing we want to see here is we, we want to select the, the session. Let's just say I think this was London session and my time. Okay, if we look at the time frame, this was based on the four hour time frame as you can see over here. So in our notion, we'll put the four hour time frame. Was it a buy or sell? We saw that it was a buy. And we can look at our, our entry reasons. Okay, reasons, the strategy itself, one that we're using. So if we come back and look at the, the reason for entry, we can see it was based on this, this price action here at the bottom. So the whole moving average turned green. It was also bouncing off a round number. If we go back into our notion, we can just type in here rejection of round number. A okay, bullish engulfing. And hull moving average turned green. Okay, that's done. So my, um, over here I've got emotions and I've got comments. Okay, so how was I feeling during the trade? Okay, so I can write here, this was a pretty good setup, so I can say I was confident in the setup. 
Okay, and I can also say it was a premium entry because it met all my rules. Okay, was it an A grade or B grade setup? It was an A grade setup to plan that it go according to my trading plan. So I just want to show you the trading plan quickly. So over here, I've got a trading plan that you can edit and make it your own trading plan. All you have to do is change these bullet points into the, tra the trading plan that you want to have. Or you can keep it based on the same strategy and actually trade this strategy. You can see I've got the pairs that I want to trade. But the time frame that I that I that I want to trade on different time frames that I'll that I'll trade. Got, I've got to trade the rules of the actual uh, strategy itself. Follow the daily and four hour major trend. This is the strategy itself. Daily or four hour major rejection and price action. Bounce off run, round number. Hull moving average changes color. Check for imbalance on higher time frames. Four hour and daily. Check the economic calendar and earnings dates. Always aim for good risk to reward. All these different things, all my rules that I've based around my strategy and trading plan are all here. Okay, so that's what this means over here, did. Okay, so was it to plan? Yes, it was. Okay, if it's not to plan, if you've broken any of those rules, if you haven't followed the strategy exactly, then you need to click on no. Was it a win, loss, or break even it was a win so I've got that column there so the risk used let's just say I used 1% risk and now you can see that change now at the bottom because now it's averaging out all the the risk that I've used in total now what was the risk to reward ratio so let's go back there we we can see that it was a 2.29 risk to reward and we'll just simply come in here and type in 2.29 Okay, this is the profit and the P&L percentage that we gained. So obviously if we're risking 1% and we made a 2.29 risk to reward, that would also mean that we made 2.29 in terms of the percentage gain. Okay, how many pips did we make on that trade? So let's go look here. Okay, we made 79.9 pips. Okay, so we'll just make that 80 pips. Okay, now you can see the sum has changed. Now let's add the image. So usually when you download from TradingView the actual image, it'll go to your download folder on your PC. So we can see over here, it's right over here at the top here. Okay, it's that one there. We just add it in there. Now if we want to look at it, we can view the original. And here it is. All right, so that's basically how you journal a trade. It's very simple. So this is basically the journal in itself. If you do want this exact template, just click on the link down below and you won't have to build this yourself. You can just download it and duplicate it onto your free uh, Notion account and you can start journaling your trades. It's gonna make a massive difference on your trading and take your trading to the next level. I only started to, to journal about three years into my trading uh, journey. But I've been journaling now for about five years or so because I've been trading nearly, nearly eight years and I started to be I really started to become consistent once I started journaling and tracking what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong because this will show you you can come back and you can look at all your trades and you can see okay you know maybe I, I need to take more A grade setups was it to plan am I following my plan completely you know which time frame is best to that I need to trade on is the 15 minute causing me to lose a lot so maybe I should bump it up to the four hour or the hourly like personally I only ever trade now on the four hour you can also see which pairs you seem to be winning on or losing on you can track your account growth and everything over here you have screenshots here so you can always look back at the actual setup itself it's very handy so if you all you have to do is click on the link down below and you can actually just purchase purchase it there for a very small cost. Okay, it's going to save you all the hassle, and then the instructions and stuff are pretty simple. You just duplicate it onto your onto your Notion itself. So basically, when you get Notion, it'll it won't be in here. Okay, so what you got to do is you'll have the link. The link will look. Let me just do this. The link will basically look like this. It'll be this link over here. So you'll have access to this link so you will go into a new browser once you've copied the link 
or into a new tab and you'll copy and paste it then you'll click enter okay then what you'll do is you can change this to black don't worry I'll show you guys how to do that it's pretty simple you just change your black background to black if you want it black or you can leave it white now what you want to do is you want to duplicate it you want to click on duplicate okay now you want to go into your notion account so I've got a couple here so I'll we'll go into the second one so then it'll duplicate it into your notion account all right then you'll see it here appearing here all right it'll be all there I've got two a couple of notion accounts over here I'll go back to my other one but when you get it, all of these fields here, all of these columns here at the bottom will be blank. The trading plan and everything will be there. All of these uh, columns over here will be here, but uh, these columns over here, so the main you know, journal, all of these top ones will be here, but all of these you'll have to start from scratch with, with a new entry, a new journaling entry. So like all of these options will be here, everything will be here, but the whole uh, journal will be empty but you'll have all of these and you, but you just have it'll be a fresh journal okay but uh, what I advise you to do is what you want to do is you want to duplicate this uh, template so you want to click sorry let me just do that again so you want to go over here click on these three dots as soon as you get it and duplicate it now you'll see you'll have two here you'll have two so you can with this one here we've got Obviously you want to track month by month, so you can have this one as February, like the first one. Alright, and then the second one you can change it and you can track March. So you can track month by month, uh, month by month instead of tracking everything as a whole. Okay, and each one will be separate and then you can even make a separate little thing here going into can put all of them by the at the end of the year if you want to put all of your those trading journals into one thing so you can do this trades 2023 right so you'll see trades 2023 so what you can do is by the at the end of the year you can right so you can drag and drop trades 2023 into that folder okay then you, you'll have access to all your your trades all your journals for the whole year month by month over here but always keep a duplicate copy here on this main side panel over here just in case you lose it or you do something you know to to lose the data or something like that or lose the actual template so just keep spare ones here on the side okay guys it's pretty simple it'll take your trading to the next level click on the link down below to get trading to get notion for free you can open up you can sign up for a new account and then you can There'll be a second link to the, my very own personal um, trading journal that I use, which is this one here. Okay, guys, so I hope you have a brilliant trading week ahead. And please, guys, start journaling your trades, whether you use my one or whether you use your own one or your own personalized one. But this one will literally, once you download it, it'll take you like a few minutes to set up. And then to actually use it, it'll only take you a minute or two to actually journal your trade going to make a massive difference if you want to take this game seriously because this took me into profitability this is one of the main key things okay that took me into profitability normal other mentors are selling these things for like three hundred dollars two hundred dollars each okay i'm literally giving this away to you guys for a very tiny cost and it's all you need you don't need anything more compl complicated than this this is what i've been using now for a couple of years and it's been brilliant and it's served me well and it's really taken my trading to the next level. So have a good week, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.